Hey, Fire Signs, what's poppin'? It's your boy, from Cancerman's Tarot, coming at you guys with your August 7th through the 14th love tarot reading, all right? Let's see what's going on for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. Messages may or may not resonate to you. If they resonate, they're for you. If they don't, they are not for you, okay? Some of you here are really waiting on something special to happen. You may have been doing some prayer, some contemplation, okay? May have even been contemplating with yourself whether or, want it's, or whether or not it's something you want, okay? But for some of you here, I'm seeing you kind of pray to whatever you believe in, in this sense, um, just for something to come in for you okay some of you are really wishing for a new relationship to come in or for you know some things to get better in the situation is what i'm seeing all right let's go on for my fire sign sun rising in venus august 7th to the 14th august 7th to the 14th aries sag leo sun moon rising in venus august 7th to the 14th Some of you here are getting out of some situations where you feel as if you need to walk away or you have the need to walk away, I feel as if too. All right. Mutual energy between you and another person is the justice card. So we're restoring balance in the situation. I'm also seeing the lovers in reverse, okay? That may be the balance. For some of you, you filed a divorce here. So if you guys are in a connection here or in a marriage here per se, there can be a divorce that's going on currently. I feel as if you're gaining back balance in your love life, but through separation overall, which is the theme I'm seeing here. Yeah. All right, fire sign. You're in a period where, look, Three of Swords, you know, you're heartbroken, you're hurt, okay? You're going through a lot of stress, a lot of painful times, and I feel like you really need to get it out of your system, you know? You're in a period of time where it's like you are so heartbroken, and it was something you necessarily didn't really expect. Whoever you're connecting with here, Judgment Card, can be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but whoever you're dealing with here with this Judgment Card, you know, this was their final decision. They were the judge, you know? They were the person who said, look, I need to end it here, and we have to end it here. Um, especially for those who are going to, through a divorce, this is really resonating heavily for people who are divorced, but it can just be a breakup or separation. But what I'm seeing here overall, though, fire sign is that you are in a period of heartbreak. You're going through a lot of heartbreak between you and the person you're dealing with, and they unfortunately don't really want anything to do with you in a romantic sense. As for the outcome, Knight of Pentacles, everything stops, communication stops, forward movement stops, and you guys are kind of stuck at a standstill is what I'm seeing here, right? We also had two of swords here, too. This was the person's free will decision, you know? At the end of the day, I want to give a quick little lesson. At the end of the day, for soulmates, okay, if you have a soulmate, you have a twin flame, the universe will put you two together in the most perfect time, you know, right? Because the thing is that we have free will. Our free will is whether we fall in love or not. But the universe puts us together to have the opportunity to fall in love. Okay, you guys were put together, you had the opportunity to fall in love, you fell in love, but now, whoever you were dealing with here, it was their free will decision to make the decision to break away from the connection, okay, with whatever's going on with them is what i'm seeing for you guys all right now listen it's not necessarily a negative read a lot of people are going to take this in a really bad light but there's a lot of healing that needs to be taken place here could have been dealing with something codependent six of wands the ace of cups in reverse you're going to be moving on forward you're not even going to be worrying about this all right whatever's happening here you may feel as if that you know you were so loved by this person and now it's like what the fuck they never they don't show me love they don't care about me they walked away it almost feels like it was sudden right fire sign but you have to come to a realization that you are going to push through it because your feelings are going to deteriorate as well all right your feelings are going to go away as well you may think you're going to be stuck on this person forever but i promise you 110 percent you're going to be able to move forward especially on your own you don't need nobody else right now okay all you need is yourself is what i'm seeing here I'm seeing fire signs as well also go through the period with the emperor. <laughs> Here we go. Emperor to the hermit. You know, you're gaining back control of your entire life. You're gaining back focus in your life. You know, a lot of you here are going to be working out, going to the gym, you know, focusing on your self-love, focusing on your body possibly going out drinking partying having fun right I'm really picking up the sag vibe here okay or it can be an aries here whatever's happening but you're isolating yourself from this person i feel as if for some you can be isolating yourself from the world and doing your thing just to you know mend your broken heart and focus on healing your broken heart but i also feel like you know Hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your family is the best remedy right now. I feel like the isolation that's going to be occurring is the isolation from whoever you're connecting with here. Yes, you'll be isolated from them. Yes, you'll be far away from them. But I feel like you need to gain back control of your feelings. And it seems as if you're doing that during this time. So you will be getting back control of your feelings. I do see you kind of getting out of this slump as well. Like, yes, my heart is broken. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it hurts. But you need to distract yourself. And it feels as if you will be distracting yourself with various activities as well as hanging out with friends and doing things like that, okay? Now, for those, because I'm seeing plenty of you hit the bar, please do not overindulge. Just saying, all right? Don't overindulge. Nobody wants to get their stomach pumped, I can tell you that much. All right. Here we go. We got a whole fucking spread coming up for you guys, all right? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, to the King of Wands in reverse. My God, fire sign. Okay, it sucks. 
you found out that, you know, you feel played, you feel betrayed, you know, you're in a period where it's like, where did the spark go? You know, you're still harping on it, right? You're going to be harping on this for a while, okay? And you're going to be stuck and reserved and you're going to be kept to yourself for a while, especially while you have to go through your healing. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel betrayed, okay? It's okay to feel something very negative, something very low. It's okay to feel emotions. But you guys, during this time period, you have to make a breakthrough. Now, this is only a week, okay? 7 through the 14. It's only a week. So, you know, energies can constantly change, right, fire sign? But you have to focus on grounding yourself, okay? You have to come to the realization that even if you were married or even if you were in a relationship, sometimes some things are not meant to be. If it's meant to be, it's going to be, okay? Or if it was meant to be, it would have been, all right? And I'm not being rude about it. I'm just being, you know, very real and upfront about it. So I am seeing that you guys are going through a lot of pain, and this is a very painful time, but you guys will be getting out of this period very shortly, okay? Definitely for the rest of the month, you will be getting out of this period, okay? I don't see you staying in this very low vibration the whole month, all right, guys? So just know, you'll get there. You'll get there. If you got to cry it out, yell it out, do whatever you got to do, call your bestie, whatever. Do what you got to do, right? Fire sign, five of pentacles. It's like, look, I feel so alone, but you're not alone, okay? There's a difference between feeling lonely and sad and alone. Alone means you have no one, but you have someone, okay? You're lonely, but you have someone, fire sign. You got to reach out to those people instead of extend, I mean, you have to extend your hand out to other people and have a helping hand instead of detach yourself from the entire world, all right? Fire sign is what I'm seeing here. Six of swords in reverse. Don't revert. Okay, this is a message. Don't revert back into your old ways, okay? Where as if most of you, or not most of you, but some of you here were in a period where you were very depressed, whether it was growing up or recently, don't revert back to sad and low vibration. Don't revert back to depression. Some of you will be going back there into that dark place. Don't do it, okay? Tarot reading, yes, I can tell you what's most likely going to happen, but what if I'm telling you this now, you can avoid it. Don't revert back to your old self. Keep pushing forward with positive thoughts. Create a positive mentality and surround yourself with positive people, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. There we go. Thank you, all right? Finishing off with this reading, we have the strength to the sun. Or I'm sorry, the strength uh, to the chariot, okay? You guys will be able to act and move forward on this situation. With the strength card, you have enough strength to get over this person. You have enough strength to keep yourself together and to hold your shit together, and you have to know that, all right? With the chariot card here as well, Concerian energy, you are gonna move forward, and you have to know and acknowledge when the chariot is here, you're on the right path. You are going to where you need to go, okay? You are not... A lot of people have this misconception. They're like, okay, well, if I'm here right now, I don't want to be here. It doesn't matter. Where you are in life right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. And you are only moving forward from here. It's from the up and up and up. Yes, you are going through a very shitty time. Yes, you are at a very low vibration. But it's up and up and up and up and up from here. And you have to realize that fire sign, all right? I'm going to pull a couple Oracle cards for you real quick and then get this reading finished. Let me check on my hamster real quick because she's running in the ball over there. All right. I have a little fucking spinning wheel for her. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys. But I have a little spinning wheel for her so she can literally run around in circles. It's fucking hilarious. All right? <laughs> All right. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Fire Sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 7th through the 14th. Any messages for them, please? Any messages for them? Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, Leo, August 7th through the 14th. see what we got for you there's a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations that are upcoming your way you definitely have to love yourself first as well okay your self-respect makes yourself more romantically what is the word they're attractive there you go but yes please respect yourself please put your self-love first please focus on yourself especially during a time of heartbreak you need healing and healing always starts with taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself heart-to-heart -heart conversations don't be afraid to open up to your friends don't be afraid to open up to your family or anyone that genuinely cares about you that you know is always there for you Open your heart up to other people. Explain what you're going through. Talk to them about what you're going through because believe it or not, yes, they can't fix you, but they can help you, okay? We all know the only person that can fix you is you, correct? But other people genuinely can help you and raise your vibrational state, especially if they care about you, okay? Be open to other people's opinions as well as stay optimistic about your love life. Just because things ended off right now in such a negative light, in such a negative way, doesn't mean it's the end of the world, okay? It's not the end of the world. You will meet somebody else. And you will probably and more than likely meet somebody better. 
sorry, Sans, thank you guys so much. Truthfully, I am sorry that you're going through this very difficult time. Of course, if it resonates, if it's not, you're chilling, all right? Hopefully this read doesn't resonate with everybody because shit, I wouldn't want to go through this either, you know? But fire signs, thank you so much for watching. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments below. And, uh, you know, hopefully you take my advice and we look forward at a better month, especially with loving yourself and putting yourself first. Once again, thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.